Okay, so welcome, welcome back, and welcome to David. Great to see you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here in Birnbach, Germany. And yeah, it's always a pleasure and an honor spending time with you and joining in one Christ mind. And I'm just going into the extension of, of the message of this message. So uh, I'm handing over to you, David, and thank you so much. Just a moment. Um, can you hear us, David? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Thank you. We didn't have any feedback as to whether we were heard or not. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome, everyone. So beautiful to be here with you. Yeah. Hallo alle zusammen. Es ist wunderschön mit euch hier zu sein. Yeah. This is such a deep journey and. And we're all so linked in uh, following the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and I was able to uh, see a session uh, earlier today that uh, Jason and uh, Emily did. Yeah, and I really enjoy the depth of the, the questions and the deep sincerity. Yeah. So we have a profound teaching with the Course in Miracles. Yeah. And yet, it, it is simply a, a way to come in touch with our internal teacher. And I think it's, it's important to keep a very direct and simple focus. The most practical thing for me in these 37 years with the Course is by far, it's just guidance. The Course is just a tool that you will use for a period of time. To come into direct contact with your inner teacher. And in this sense, you release all dependencies uh, from the world. Uh, recently, I heard a, a Christian historian speaking. And he said, uh, eventually everyone who follows Jesus ends up as, as a mystic. <laughs> uh, because we have such a deep mystical connection with the light. And our sole purpose is to come into full awareness of, of the light. And when we begin, we have many beliefs and many thoughts about ourselves and the world. But we have the deep prayer of our heart to know God and know our true reality. And this deep prayer, it, it activates our spiritual awakening. So, the first thing to be aware of is the, the desire of your heart. Uh, 
the ego seemed to arise because uh, it, it was desired. Das ego kommt hoch, weil es gewünscht wurde. <laughs> but, but when we desire God above all else, that's what helps the ego fade away to nothingness. Aber wenn wir Gott über allem wünschen, wenn das unser Wunsch ist, dann wird alles verschwinden, was dagegen, was sich dagegen richtet. So we use the desire to question everything that we believe in. Also wir benutzen unser Wunsch wirklich dazu, alles zu sehen, was dagegen spricht. And we hold no beliefs apart from our desire to awaken to know God. Und wir halten keinen Wunsch zurück, um Gott, zu Gott zu erwarten. Yes. So, the most important thing when we work with A Course in Miracles das Wichtigste, wenn wir mit dem Kurs in Wundern arbeiten, ist is just to keep our steadfast desire and keep our devotion strong and burning bright. Ist wirklich unseren Wunsch so aufrecht zu erhalten und den Wunsch wirklich so so die Fackel leuchten zu halten. <laughs> yes. Some of you know there was a, a beautiful Indian saint called uh, Paramahansa Yogananda. Einige von euch kennen den wundervollen heiligen äh, Inder Paramahansa Yogananda. And, and he said before he passed away that, that people would come together in, in groups to focus their attention on, on God. Can you please re uh, say it again? Yes. He said people would come together in groups to focus their attention on God. Leute kommen zusammen in Gruppen, um ihre Aufmerksamkeit wirklich nur Gott zu widmen. And so as you deepen in your devotion, you will call forth witnesses and mighty companions. Und uh, je tiefer deine Hingabe geht, umso mehr triffst du auf uh, große Gefährten. And as you open to these witnesses, you come closer to realizing that the world is, is not outside of your mind. Und je näher du dem kommst, an diesen uh, Überzeugungen, diesen Zeugen begegnest, umso mehr stellst du fest, dass die Welt in deinem Geist ist. When, when the mind identifies with the body and the person, then it seems like there's a very large external world. Wenn der Geist sich mit der Person identifiziert und mit der Welt, dann, äh, But, dann sieht es so aus, als würde es eine große äußere Welt geben. Ja. Yeah. But as you go much deeper, you, you start to realize that the, the world is just a, a reflection of thoughts. Aber wenn du viel, viel tiefer gehst, dann stellst du fest, dass die Welt wirklich nur eine Reflexion deiner Gedanken ist. Uh, even the people that seem to have a mind of their own. Auch die Menschen, <laughs> bei denen es so aussieht, als hätten sie einen eigenen Geist. Are all just reflections of thoughts. Society is a reflection of what you think. Governments are just reflections. Uh, Mother Earth is, is just a reflection. <laughs> and, and you give yourself over to a process of, of forgiving the world. Und du dich einem der Welt zu um, so from the session this afternoon there was a discussion of uh, no private thoughts and no people pleasing. And 
And the world is just a reflection of the belief in private thoughts. Und die Welt ist nur eine von in heaven there are no private thoughts. Im gibt es keine and there are no private minds. Und da gibt es auch keine Geister, Geister. Yeah. So everything perceived through the five senses is really just a reflection of the ego belief system. Alles, was durch die fünf Sinne, uh, wird, ist wirklich nur eine Reflexion des ego And even when we read words in the Course in Miracles like Holy Relationship, Und auch wenn wir Worte im Kurs lesen, die heilige Beziehung, we are tempted to believe that this still is um, an interpersonal relationship. Sind wir immer noch versucht zu denken, dass es eine persönliche Beziehung ist? But, Beziehung. Yeah. But holy relationship is, is a reflection of the, of the happy dream or the forgiven world. Aber heilige Beziehung ist eine Reflexion des glücklichen Traums oder der vergebenen Welt. It's a state of mind where you no longer are invested in thoughts about the body. There's a part in A Course in Miracles es gibt einen Teil im Kurs in Wundern, where Jesus says, do not raise body thoughts to the level of mind. And he means by this, you must learn to release the beliefs in causation uh, in this world. Yeah, this is This is the big trick of the ego, is to believe that there are causes and effects in the world. For example, giving causation to food or to money. Zum Beispiel, Ursachen, uh, Nahrung zu geben oder Geld giving causation to uh, the body and actions of the body. This is, this is how the mind holds on to guilt. Believing that um, actions of the body, behaviors are causative. So, as we begin to follow guidance, we realize that everything that we need comes through the guidance. And this is what I've experienced in, in these 37 years with the Course. Und das ist, was ich erfahren habe, in den 37 Jahren mit dem Kurs. It's an involuntary experience of, of just coming to rest in the present moment. Es ist eine unfreiwillige äh, Erfahrung, um in diesen in den, äh, gegenwärtigen Moment zu ruhen. Yeah. It's, it's actually slowly loosening from all past learning. And living completely from a sense of inspiration and inner guidance. And 
And so opening to the possibility of being a hundred percent intuitive. And zero percent analytical. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely idea? <laughs> yes, it's it's very fresh, it's very spontaneous. <laughs> yeah. And this this is how the miracle is. You just make your mind available to Jesus. And you say, okay, I'm, I'm ready for miracles, I'm ready to be used for miracles. It's a way of saying, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm not going to rely on my past learning anymore. Yeah. And so in that sense, the course is way beyond a, a, a theory or a theology. It's something you use to get to dive into practical application. To, to invite the Holy Spirit to undo every single belief of the ego. Yeah. And when you give yourself over to this, it, the world starts to be more like a fairy tale. <laughs> yes, and increasingly it's a very happy fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, where you just feel that you're just immersed in miracles every day. And it feels so natural. Uh, you really are letting go of all worries and concerns. Because everything that you need to express the miracle is provided. The means of spiritual awakening are not in the future. We have everything that we need right now. And and Jesus assures us that what we once saw as problems will melt away. Yeah, it's like a momentum that grows stronger and stronger. Where you know that the purpose is to feel the happiness and the joy. And your focus and attention goes away from the things of the world. You see that freedom and happiness and peace are the goal. And you see that the body and the outcomes that surround the body are not the purpose. Yeah. 
And do you see that, that the one thing that you want is to have an expanded faith? You see that faith has answered every question there could ever be. And you also realize that any time you experience fear or anxiety, you are thinking about bodies. Our identity is the Christ, an idea in the mind of God. It has absolutely nothing to do with physicality at all. And so for the ability to see the Christ in everyone that you meet, Und so mit dieser Möglichkeit, den Christus zu sehen, in jedem, den du triffst, you let the love that is in you be all that it is, lässt du diese Liebe, die in dir ist, alles sein, was ist. And you begin to have a disinterest in interpreting the body and the world. Und du fängst an, ein Desinteresse zu haben an dem Körper oder an Dingen in der Welt. The prayer in the heart is, Holy Spirit, show me the world in a new way. Das Gebet ist, Heiliger Geist, zeig mir die Welt in einem ganz, aus einer ganz anderen Sicht. I don't want to hold on to any personal interpretations. Ich will nicht mal irgendwelchen persönlichen Interpretationen festhalten. And in order to go toward this light that is in the mind, Und um diesem Licht entgegen zu gehen, das im Geist ist, the miracles show you that the spirit can use the symbols of the world. Das Wunder zeigt dir, dass der Spirit alle Symbole der Welt benutzen kann. Because the Spirit has no investment in these symbols whatsoever. Let's just take the example of money. Think how indescribably happy the mind is. When money is viewed as just nothing more than a neutral symbol. Not positive, not negative. Nicht positive oder negative. Not important, not unimportant. Nicht wichtig oder unwichtig. Just a symbol, just like the body. Nur ein symbol, der Part of a theater that the Holy Spirit can use to help remember that everything is in the mind. There, there is only one mind. There aren't separate minds with separate thoughts. And yet, to believe in the ego is to see the world through the ego's filter. But the ego is a death wish. Believe in the ego and you perceive a fragmented perception. If you believe in competition, you perceive it everywhere. <laughs> if 
If you believe in comparison, then you perceive a world of comparison. <laughs> if you believe in possessions, you perceive a world of possessions. Yeah. And, and it goes on and on because the world is just a reflection of the mind. And when you experience miracles, you realize you have no need of any of those things. Yeah, you're only interested in real heart-to-heart -heart communication. You're only interested in honesty. Integrity. Respect. Kindness. You, you feel a sweetness for everything and everyone. With no exceptions. Uh, when, when you don't want anything from the world, the world doesn't want anything from your mind. <laughs> it's, it's the greatest secret uh, that there ever is. The instant I stopped trying to get something from the world, the world turned very soft. <laughs> it was, the world was like a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, because it's only the ego that wants to get something from the world. And the spirit doesn't understand this uh, desire to get. Und der Spirit versteht überhaupt nicht diesen Wunsch, etwas bekommen zu wollen. Spirit is just pure giving. Spirit is nur pures Geben. And mostly giving of your happy attitude, of your joy. Und am meisten von, der, von deinem Glücklichsein zu geben, von deinem Zustand des Glücks weiterzugeben. Yeah, that, that is the real gift that we are here to give. And this also allows you to remember to laugh frequently. <laughs> yeah. It also helps you realize there is nothing really to take serious. Yeah. That, that in truth, you can be very light-hearted and extend this attitude to everything and to everyone. And it all starts with the prayer of the heart. If, if you truly want to be happy, Wenn du wirklich glücklich sein willst, the world has no power to keep you from the happiness. If you want to have a heart of devotion and, and devotion to God, Wenn du ein Herz voller Hingebung, Hingebung zu Gott hast, then you begin to witness many, many reflections of, of that devotion. Because the faith in your heart can bring everything that you want and desire into uh, experience. 
Weil dieser Glaube in deinem Herzen alles, was du dir wünschst, in deinen Geist bringt, um es zu erfahren. Faith is, is very holistic. Der Glaube ist sehr, sehr holistisch, ganzheitlich. Yeah. Faith immediately transfers to everyone and every situation. Glaube transformiert sofort zu allem, in jeder Situation und zu jedem. And when you think in terms of the body and the world, und wenn du in Begriffen wie Körper und der Welt denkst, this is the ego's fragmented perception. Das ist des Egos fragmentierte Wahrnehmung. And the ego separates people and situations as if they are unrelated to each other. Und das Ego trennt äh, Personen, um zu zeigen, dass sie zu, nicht zueinander gehören. And Jesus says, trust would settle every problem now. Und Jesus sagt, Vertrauen würde jedes Problem jetzt lösen. So, what we are releasing is this habit of, of situations. Was wir äh, loslassen, ist diese Verhalten zu, zu sehen, dass es Situationen gibt. For example, you may think, what is my financial situation? Zum Beispiel, wie sieht meine finanzielle Situation aus? Um, what is my relationship situation? Wie sieht meine Beziehungssituation aus? Uh, what is my family situation? Wie sieht meine familiäre Situation? What is the, the health of my body? What is that situation? And when you believe in the ego, you have to confront these thoughts every day. Every day seems to be filled with decisions to handle different issues and different situations. Jeder Tag sieht so aus, als wäre er gefüllt, ähm, immer nur Konflikte zu lösen und verschiedene Situationen zu lösen. And yet, Jesus tells us that faith can handle all situations at once. Und doch sagt uns Jesus, dass Vertrauen jede Situation sofort lösen kann. That, that faith provides the fullness and the, the abundance of, of who we really are. Der Glaube stellt uns diese Erfüllung und die Fülle dessen, was wir wirklich sind, zur Verfügung. Ja. Yeah. And so, any issue that you believe you have is simply a lack of faith. And this is why Jesus seemed to heal the sick and to raise the dead. Yeah. Because to the Christ, even sickness and death are non-issues. And yet you can see by believing in the ego, it makes issues where there are no issues. And the way to in come to this experience of faith is to hide nothing in the unconscious mind. To, to have 
an attitude which simply does not want to hide anything or hold on to any secrets. Eine Haltung zu haben, uh, an der du wirklich, in der du nichts zurückhalten willst und keine Geheimnisse haben willst. So when Jesus is speaking, he's literally speaking for the whole universe. Wenn Jesus also spricht, spricht er wirklich für das ganze Universum. The Holy Spirit is the universal voice that is the voice of, of joy. And that's why we have such a, we have such a focus on uh, hearing the Holy Spirit. That is no small thing. <laughs> That is, that is the answer to every conceivable problem. <laughs> yeah. And so, with faith, it seems that it's easy to trust this inner guidance. It's, it's the evaporation of all future worries and concerns. Es löst komplett alle zukünftigen Sorgen auf. Und yeah, it's also the evaporation of all, all regrets and grievances. Es löst auch alle Bedauern und jeden Groll auf. Because a grievance is just Uh, the belief in a false identity. Yeah. And as you feel relaxed about being very transparent, you see that you have nothing to protect and nothing to defend. You know, you you will not get into a to an argument because you don't have a, a point to prove. You you realize that uh, to have an opinion is is not happy. <laughs> you realize that to have an agenda or to try to control the world is, is really pointless. To have an agenda is really pointless. Because an agenda always is a sense of, of wanting to control based on the past. Yeah. And as you go deeper, deeper into this faith, you see what Jesus is mentioning in workbook lesson 158. Yeah. Where he, that's the lesson where he says the script is written. <laughs> yeah. The world is over. It's just a, it's a past thought. Die Welt ist vorbei. Es ist nur ein vergangener Gedanke. And who would want to focus on, on the past when the present instant is so glorious? Und wer will an der Vergangenheit festhalten, wenn der gegenwärtige Moment so glorreich ist? Yeah. Our prayer to be happy and to be free is so dear in our heart. Unser Gebet, glücklich zu sein und frei zu sein, ist so, so tief in unserem Herzen. Yeah. We will be content with nothing less. 
Wir werden mit nichts anderem zufrieden sein. Yeah. And so we feel that we have a light that we are meant to shine. Wir fühlen dann, dass wir ein Licht haben, das wir geben sollen. And there is no reason to withhold your light. Es gibt keinen Grund, dieses Licht zurückzuhalten. Every seeming situation is just an opportunity to extend this light. Jede anscheinende Situation ist nur eine Möglichkeit, dieses Licht auszubreiten. Yeah. It is an opportunity to live by the law of love. Es ist eine Möglichkeit, nach den Gesetzen der Liebe zu leben. And also to realize that the ego's make-believe laws hold no meaning. Und auch zu sehen, dass das Egos äh, selbstgemachten Gesetze keine Bedeutung haben. Yeah. This, this is the prayer of every mystic, of every saint. Das ist das Gebet jeden Mystiker und jeden, jeden Heiligen. To let go of the pursuit of the idols and the distractions of the world. Die ganzen, uh, die Jagd nach den Götzen loszulassen in der Welt. Yeah. Und sie ablenken. Not from a belief in sacrifice. Nicht durch einen Glauben an Opfer. But just from an experience in which needs fall away. Aus einer Erfahrung heraus, nur dass äh, Bedürfnisse wegfallen. The need for uh, material accomplishments or material achievements uh, fades away. Das Bedürfnis, äh, materielle Besitztümer zu haben und materielle etwas zu erreichen, der Welt Ziele zu haben, fällt weg. Yeah. And, and the need to try to understand the world falls away too. Und das Bedürfnis, die Welt verstehen zu wollen, fällt weg. That is the most frustrating thing for the mind that is awakening. Das ist der allerfrustrierendste Gedanke für den Geist, der aufwacht. The ego is saying you must understand the world or you must make sense of the world. Das ego sagt, du musst die Welt verstehen. Du musst einen Sinn in der Welt sehen. <laughs> And Jesus is saying the world is an impossible situation. Und Jesus sagt, die Welt ist eine unmögliche Situation. He says you will never find meaning in linear time. Er sagt, du wirst nie eine Bedeutung in der linearen Zeit finden. <laughs> And suddenly you start to realize that you don't need future goals. Und dann stellst du fest, plötzlich, dass du überhaupt keine Ziele in der Zukunft brauchst. Yeah. You don't even have to have a bucket list of things that you want to do in the future. Du brauchst doch nicht mal mehr eine To-Do-Liste für Ziele, die du in der Zukunft haben möchtest, also erfüllt haben möchtest. Yeah. You would rather just rest content with what is. So, when you practice the Course, do not think of it as like a theology. And And as you begin to apply it, you will not even think of it anymore as a book. <laughs> There is nothing more frustrating than trying to intellectually understand A Course in Miracles. <laughs> Because peace and understanding go together. <laughs> you 
actually cannot understand anything until you experience consistent peace. Du kannst wirklich überhaupt nichts verstehen, bis zu dem Zeitpunkt, wo du wirklich einen Frieden erlebst. Yeah. You, you can't even understand the metaphysics until you experience the peace that the metaphysics point to. Du kannst noch nicht mal die Metaphysik verstehen, bis du diesen Frieden erfährst, auf den dich die Metaphysik hinweist. When you take a course of of learning in the world, Wenn du einen Kurs im Lernen der Welt nimmst, you're supposed to learn what the Course is teaching you. So that in the future you can apply what you learned. But the course is the exact opposite to learning in the world. Aber der Kurs ist das komplette Gegenteil zum Lernen in der Welt. You have to apply the lessons so completely. Du musst diese Lektionen so total anwenden. Transfer the mind training so completely. Das mind training so total transferieren that finally the understanding comes into, into awareness. So you can give up trying to first understand the Course and then apply it. That's just for the learning of the world, the way we have learned in education. But it's only the practical application to the mind that brings understanding. <laughs> Sometimes people people say to me, Manchmal sagen die Leute zu mir, I have so much trouble, they say, trying to explain the Course to other people. But Jesus doesn't want us to explain the Course to other people. <laughs> He, he wants us to apply the miracle in our mind and demonstrate the attitude of love. Yeah. So, so it's entirely in the demonstration. To teach is to demonstrate. Zu lehren ist zu demonstrieren. And most importantly is the attitude. Und das Wichtigste ist die Haltung. If the behavior reflects the attitude of peace, all is well. Wenn das Verhalten äh, die Haltung des Friedens zeigt, dann ist alles gut. Yeah. And so words without peace don't really mean anything. Also Worte ohne Frieden bedeuten nicht, nicht wirklich irgendetwas. Yeah. The peace of mind is everything. Der Frieden des Geistes ist alles. And then the words can only reflect that attitude. Und dann können die Wörter, die Worte nur diesen äh, Frieden reflektieren. Yeah. And, and when you are in this attitude of present trust, Und wenn du diese hast von Vertrauen, yes, the whole world reflects it. Die ganze Welt wird es uh, you, you simply draw forth witnesses to a very trusting faith. Du wirst ganz viele Beweise anziehen, zu diesem äh, 
in diese vertrauensvolle Haltung, für diese Haltung. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. So, in that sense, you don't have to react or respond to the world. In diesem Sinne brauchst du nicht auf die Welt zu reagieren oder ihr zu antworten. Because you have a new interpretation of the world. Weil du eine neue Interpretation der Welt hast. And this interpretation of the Holy Spirit does not see problems. Und diese Interpretation mit dem Heiligen Geist sieht keine Probleme. This is the deepest meaning of forgiveness. Das ist die tiefste Bedeutung der Vergebung. The Holy Spirit has overlooked the error of the ego entirely. Der Heilige Geist hat äh, den Irrtum des Egos komplett übersehen. And you bring the faith of the Holy Spirit to everything and to everyone. Und du bringst den Glauben des Heiligen Geistes zu jedem und zu allen. Because the Holy Spirit does not look to errors. Weil der Heilige Geist nicht auf den Fehler schaut. In the Holy Spirit's presence all errors have already been corrected. In, in der Heiligen in der Sichtweise des Heiligen Geistes sind alle Fehler bereits korrigiert worden, berichtigt worden. So, very practically, you see you have a question to face in the mind. Ganz praktisch ausgedrückt, du hast eine, eine Frage, du bist mit einer Frage im Geist konfrontiert. Yeah. On the one hand, do you want to find fault or blame or guilt. Auf der einen Seite willst du den Fehler finden oder Schuld. Or, on the other hand, you just see innocence and see love wherever you look. Und auf der anderen Seite siehst du nur die Unschuld und die Liebe. <laughs> and this is why you finally give up all attempts to analyze the world. Und das ist warum du schlussendlich aufgibst die Welt analysieren zu wollen. The Holy Spirit does not analyze problems or analyze the world at all. Der Heilige Geist analysiert die Welt überhaupt. Imagine yourself walking into any situation with a big smile on your face and saying, is there a problem here? <laughs> uh, that's where you start to feel the joy of the Spirit. <laughs> That's been the, the most fun for me, is, is to seem to travel the world. Das ist der größte Spaß für mich, äh, wenn es aussah, als würde ich die Welt bereisen. With this deep faith that, that there really aren't any problems. Mit diesem tiefen Glauben, dass da wirklich keine Probleme sind. <laughs> you seem to miss catching a plane. Oh well. Sieht so aus, als würde ich dann verpassen. <laughs> You miss your train. Oh my. <laughs> you get the feeling that you're always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> yeah. And, and as you go deep into the miracle, you really feel this is so. And when you deep in that wonder yeah. And finally you come into a deep experience. Und schlussendlich kommst du in ein tiefes, in eine tiefe Erfahrung. That you've never done anything wrong in your entire life. Dass du niemals in deinem ganzen Leben irgendetwas falsch gemacht hast. And you've never done anything right in your entire life either. 
Und du hast niemals irgendetwas richtig gemacht. Ooh, uh, oh my gosh. You oh. feel so happy, so innocent. Du fühlst dich so glücklich und so unschuldig. Because you start to realize you are not the doer. Weil du anfängst, fängst an festzustellen, dass du nicht der Macher bist. Yeah. That, that you are beyond the doer. <laughs> that you actually are a state of mind that is not dependent on the body or the doer. Du bist ein uh, Geisteszustand, der jenseits des Machers ist. Yeah. And this is... Yeah, it's a very natural feeling of innocence. Das ist ein ganz natürliches Gefühl von Unschuld. And, and it doesn't depend on the, the world of, of circumstances. I, I have a friend who is practicing the Course inside of a prison. <laughs> and his, his body has been in this prison for over 20 years. Und sein Körper ist in diesem Gefängnis über 20 Jahre. But now he sees that it was only the prison of the ego belief that was blocking him from happiness. Und jetzt stellt er fest, dass es wirklich nur äh, der Glaube im Geist war, der ihn quasi im Gefängnis hält und von der Freude abhält. Yeah. His goal is no longer to leave the physical prison. Sein Ziel ist es nicht mehr, das Gefängnis als Körper zu verlassen. He is so focused on present peace and happiness. Er ist so fokussiert auf äh, den äh, gegenwärtigen Moment und das Glück und den Frieden. Yeah, he's learning to free his mind at any instant that he chooses. Er lernt seinen Geist zu befreien in jedem Moment, in dem er es wählt. Yeah. It's really, it's really just the release of guilt. Es ist wirklich nur ein Freilassen der Schuld. Yeah. So, in my parable of the parable of David, I have had the opportunity to trust. Also in dem Gleichnis von David hatte ich die Möglichkeit zu vertrauen. I, I really had to trust Jesus to let go of all thoughts of like a career. Ich, again, sure. I've had to trust Jesus to let go of thoughts of a career. Ich musste Jesus vertrauen, uh, die Gedanken because Jesus said, I will provide everything that you need. He told me, you don't need a career, you need me. <laughs> you need to pay attention and listen and follow. Uh, but just give your whole heart and your whole mind. Aber gib dein ganzes Herz und deinen ganzen Geist. And see how everything is taken care of. Und, und seh, dass alles, für alles besorgt ist. Yeah. Experience how trust settles every problem. Erfahre, wie Vertrauen jedes Problem wird. Experience how giving has no limit and no end. Erfahre, wie geben kein Anfang und kein Ende hat. Openly communicate and share as if there is no tomorrow. Uh, teile alles offen, als wäre es gibt kein Morgen. Yeah. Hold back nothing. Halte nichts zurück. Hide nothing. Halte nichts zurück. Stecke uh, nichts. Yeah. Give everything in your heart, every moment, to everyone. Gib alles in deinem Herzen, jeden Moment, zu jedem. 
and then you see how free the mind is. Und dann wirst du sehen, wie frei der Geist ist. It is letting go of every thought of, of limitation and lack. Es ist das äh, Loslassen von an jedem Gedanken auf äh, Eingrenzung, an Eingrenzung oder Mangel. It is letting go of all future goals and ambitions. Es ist das Loslassen aller zukünftigen Ziele oder Ambitionen. Yeah. And, and just being curious of what the present moment has to offer. Und nur neugierig zu sein, was der gegenwärtige Augenblick zu bieten hat. Uh, it's just saying to Jesus, show me. Nur Jesus zu sagen, zeig es mir. Convince me. Überzeug mich. <laughs> uh, it's all on you. I, I, I want to be convinced. <laughs> And Jesus is very much, oh, thank you very much, I will. <laughs> I was waiting for that invitation. <laughs> and so you have a feeling like, wow, I really cannot control this world at all. And Jesus says, that's right, you never could. <laughs> Wasn't it frustrating trying to control the world? <laughs> yeah. It's even difficult to try to control the body. I like to just show up and I never know if something will come through the body at all. <laughs> Andreas and Sabine have invited me here, but I have no clue what words will come out. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Because I'm clueless. <laughs> yeah. I'm just listening like all of you are listening. I'm hearing it too. <laughs> yeah. Hearing it for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And so, what a freedom to give up the idea of repetition. Yeah. To realize that that happiness does not require repetition. And even the lessons of A Course in Miracles are to be finished and released. <laughs> Yeah. And maybe you have a goal to become a teacher of God. <laughs> Because people who work with the Course, <laughs> they, feel, they feel like that's what they would like to achieve. <laughs> But here's what Jesus has to say about that. A good teacher teaches to make himself unnecessary. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful goal? Unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't. You don't even have to hold on to that concept. <laughs> yeah. Because the goal is to free your mind of all personal concepts. Yeah. 
and Konzepten zu befreien. And when you practice, I am not a body, I am free. Und wenn du dich darin übst, dass ich kein Körper bin, dass ich frei bin, you really start to feel that freedom very deeply. Du wirst es wirklich feststellen, dass diese, diese Freiheit ganz tief. Yeah. Because in the holy instant you are freed of expectations. Weil du im heiligen Augenblick befreit bist von Erwartungen. Yeah. All expectations. <laughs> and, and this is the, the freedom that was always prayed for. Und das ist diese Freiheit, für die immer gebetet wurde. Jesus says, what do you want? Freedom of the body or freedom of the mind? Jesus sagt, was willst du? For both you cannot have. So you start to look at your mind very closely. Yeah. And you, you do not dismiss any emotion that, that comes into awareness. And you certainly don't want to push anything down or repress anything. But you do value the sense of open-mindedness. Yeah. You value this experience of, of stillness. Du das Gefühl der Stille. Uh, questions that once were there just start to evaporate. You just, you're not interested in questioning a brother. Du bist nicht daran interessiert, ein, uh, in Frage zu you don't control the words, so you just enjoy the connection. Yeah, that feeling of just being connected. Yeah. So, wow, this this has been quite quite a, a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> because we are here to celebrate the Spirit. I've seen some of your dance sessions on Facebook. Looks very good. On Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I think I think some I think Sabine and some others have captured some some very happy times. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to thank Andreas and, and Sabine and all of you. Yeah. And I send you all the love in my heart. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sweet. Thank you, David. That's Thank really you. a celebration. Thank you, for, thank you for putting so much emphasis on faith and uh, a celebration that lift faith brings to the mind. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably meet again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just going to continue here with some some music from Greece. And uh, we keep the we keep the Zoom room open. So whoever wants to join in, it's welcome to just you know tune in or move a bit and dance and yeah, celebrate the extension. Thank you for everything. And it's good to see some. 
uh, familiar faces there on Zoom. Hey, hi Urpi, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Danke an Sabine, an an die Techniker und danke an alle, die den Zoom-Raum nutzen, um sich hier in dieser Lehre der Feier zu verbinden. Danke. Bis gleich. <lacht> Okay, ich glaube, ich glaube, wir haben hier einen Trailer, den wir zeigen wollen. Rainer, sind wir schon soweit oder brauchen wir noch einen Moment? <lacht> 